Over the years of having my go-kart build videos posted to my YouTube channel, I'd say one of the most frequent questions I've been asked is, do you have the designs or plans available to share for the go-kart build? And for the longest time, I didn't want to share those designs just because I wanted my go-kart to be unique. I didn't want there to be any other one like it out there. But over the years here, I've kind of changed my viewpoint on that, and I thought it would be really cool to share those plans with uh, viewers and subscribers and people who want to build a go-kart. And uh, for people that actually do want to build it, if they have questions, I can answer them along the way since I designed this go-kart from the ground up. And that's what today's video is all about, is uh, sharing these plans and designs for my go-kart build with you guys. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. If you guys enjoy it, definitely consider checking out the other content I have on my channel related to, of course, my go-kart build, my Corvette build, and a bunch of just other automotive related content and videos as well. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support on the channel. I do really appreciate it. Your guys' viewership and audience is what makes this channel so awesome. Um, but on to today's video topic. So like I said, I want to be able to share these go-kart plans with you guys. And so I'm going to talk about kind of the process of how I'm going to go about doing this and ask you guys if there's anything you want to see in particular when I uh, put this packet together of plans to be able to share with you guys and my plan for for that in general going forward. So just a quick overview in case you guys are new to the channel, this is my custom homemade go-kart that I built completely from the ground up um, starting back in 2014 and ever since then I posted numerous videos on this thing of driving it and building it. There's a whole playlist on my channel if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out because it's really interesting to see this thing go from a diagram on paper or design on paper to a physical working go-kart. Now obviously in its current state this is just a chassis, there is no working go-kart here and that is because recently, about two months ago, I tore this thing down in preparation for what I'm calling go-kart version 2. And my reason for wanting to do this is, is because this is a really awesome go-kart. I've had so much fun driving this thing. It's really special to me because this is my first ever big project. And I've grown up loving go-karts, so it's really special to have a go-kart that I built all on my own, essentially. Um, and basically, over the years of driving and using this thing, because I have put quite a few hours on this go-kart chassis, and it shows there's a lot of rock chips and just kind of wear and tear. Um, but basically, over the years, of driving it and learning how it works, I've seen some areas that could definitely use some improvement to make this thing uh, safer, make it more efficient, and of course make it faster as well and more reliable too. Um, and that's what I plan on doing in the go-kart rebuild version two is essentially going over all those different areas, um, improving them and reinforcing them and just making this thing an overall better go-kart design. So during this rebuild process, since I will be redesigning some of the chassis components of the go-kart here to help make it more reliable and safer and just more efficient altogether, I thought this would be a great opportunity to go back into the original CAD drawings that I have for this go-kart when I originally made it to update them and uh, get them ready to share for you guys. So this was the perfect opportunity to act on um, sharing these designs with you. And one of the reasons why I haven't really wanted to share them is because my original CAD drawings, which I'll go over and show you guys in a second, weren't really organized or set up in a way that was viewer friendly to someone that is trying to interpret someone else's design. Um, and that's why, that was one of the other reasons why I didn't really want to share them is because I felt that if I shared them with you guys, it would just be really confusing. So my goal in uh, re kind of designing the CAD drawings for this go-kart is to make them more user friendly and interpretable, I guess if that's a word. Um, for other people to use to build their own go-kart chassis or maybe not exactly build their own to this spec but or use something very similar um, because when you build a go-kart if you really want to build one from the ground up it's difficult sometimes to come up with a design completely on your own um, so it's nice to have a starting point so since I'm going to be modifying some of the areas on this chassis in particular in like the rear axle engine area I thought it'd be a great opportunity to update those drawings and and uh, be able to share them with you guys on the channel here. Now these here are actually the original CAD and SOLIDWORKS drawings for the go-kart design when I started this build back in 2014 um, with the help of my good friend Will. And if you guys 
have been around a long time and you watch those original go-kart videos, you'll remember Will. He helped me a lot throughout the very beginning of the go-kart build and was in some of the later videos as well. But when I started this uh, go-kart build process back in 2014 when I was still in college at UC Irvine, I had pretty much zero to little SolidWorks experience. And so that was where Will came in and re he really helped me um, take these drawings from AutoCAD, which is a 2D uh, CAD software, which I knew pretty well, um, and import them into a 3D um, CAD drawing or model. And uh, since then, I had my CAD and SOLIDWORKS experience has gotten tremendously better. I basically use it every day at my job now. So I am able to go in and completely do this on my own. So it's really cool here to see these designs and you can see kind of there's some really complex uh, parts to the design where the dimensions get really complicated and be hard for someone else to interpret them. Um, but I'm glad I was able to find these. I had to dig these out of this old binder here um, and found these original drawings that I used uh, when making the go-kart frame. And this is actually one of the bill of materials, which is an item that I will put in the CAD packet for the go-kart. It basically tells you how many different pieces of different length tubing and parts you'll need for the go-kart design. And the other thing too is since um, I've gotten pretty experienced with designing 3D models on SOLIDWORKS, we can go in and we can take uh, weight measurements based on the material. So I'll have to, I can input the material, which is just a cold rolled steel, I believe, square tubing. And we get the wall thickness and everything. And we can actually test chassis rigidity and we can do FEA analysis on the chassis design to see how strong it actually is. So it'd be, it'll be really cool um, to actually go in and do all that. And I'm gonna share that whole process Process with you guys of um, building this CAD model and 3D model of the go-kart and then from there I'll be able to make all these really cool drawing sheets that I can share in a packet um, with anyone that is interested in building a go-kart like this. Now like I said my goal is to bring you guys along with me as I go about designing this go-kart frame in SOLIDWORKS and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from scratch I'm not gonna use the CAD drawings that I have over there I'm gonna come in the garage here and I'm gonna take measurements myself because um, we started with those designs and not a hundred percent of the dimensions and designs transferred into the go-kart build when we actually built it and fabricated parts for it that was just because you know some things had to change based on how they fit or how they worked so it's gonna be best for me just to take the measurements from the go-kart itself and write those down on paper and then import those into SOLIDWORKS and maybe I'll do a little bit of an impromptu kind of like SOLIDWORKS tutorial. I'm not gonna do like a step-by-step -step thing but maybe just kind of show you guys some of the gists and uh, just overarching uh, surface principles of how SOLIDWORKS works. SOLIDWORKS works, that's a tongue twister. And then um, also show you guys when I do the weight analysis and the uh, FEA analysis on the go-kart frame. So I just thought that'd be really cool um, and it'd be a little bit more design and engineering side to the go-kart build, which is what I do for my job. So it'd be really cool to share that with you guys. And uh, if you guys are interested in building this go-kart using the plans, you guys can ask me any questions and it would be really awesome. So what my plan is, is basically once I have the designs and the CAD profiles and models finished, I'm gonna put it together in a packet, and this is the part I still have yet to figure out, but my goal is, and my plan is, is to put the packet together and then sell the packet as a design um, profile and model for the go-kart. And that will include any 3D printed files that I'm gonna come up with in version two of the go-kart rebuild. So if you buy the original drawings for the frame, you'll get the STL files and the SOLIDWORKS files for any 3D printed parts that I decide to incorporate into the second version of the go-kart as well. And the reason why I thought of to maybe sell these designs is just to help support the channel a little bit. So if you guys are wanting to purchase the packet of designs for the go-kart, all that money is gonna go right into supporting different projects on the channel here, either the go Corvette build, the go-kart build. So just know that if you decide to purchase the packet of designs, it'll go right into the channel so you guys can enjoy that content. Now, price-wise for the design packet, 
market. I definitely want to make it affordable because I definitely understand that people who are designing a go-kart and trying to do this as a side project for a hobby may not have the huge, uh, the largest budget. So I'm thinking for the whole design packet, somewhere in the range of 50 to 100 bucks. I think that's pretty reasonable given the amount of time and effort that I'm going to put into putting this packet together. So somewhere around in that range is what I'm thinking. Um, not too bad. And the only part that I'm unsure of, and I'll ask you guys' opinion here, is what would be the best way to distribute this packet um, to people who purchase it? Is there a website where I can host the file where people can pay and then download the file directly or the, the packet or folder of files? Um, or should I just do it by PayPal? Or what would be the best way if you guys have had experience with selling files essentially um, on the internet? Because my plan also is, is to design different 3D printed parts for uh, the go-kart and the car and different cars and whatnot and sell those as well. So I could use that same um, file system or website to do that as well. So if you guys have any recommendations on that, please let me know because I'd really appreciate it. And again, if there's anything that you guys see with the design or um, ideas that you have that you want me to incorporate in this design packet process, um, please let me know because I'd love to get your guys' feedback on what you would like if you plan on purchasing the packet or using it for your um, go-kart build at home and I will definitely do my best to incorporate those comments and ideas into the final product that I'll put out for you guys. So that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick video announcing this awesome idea. I had to put together this design packet of the go-kart design and model um, for you guys since I've gotten so much uh, positive feedback on requests for asking for the designs and drawings for the go-kart in the past. I just thought it was an awesome opportunity to implement this idea that I've had to share them with you now that I'm doing the version 2 of the go-kart rebuild I can incorporate all those improvements that I'm doing to the go-kart in the new design packet for you guys so I'm really excited to share that with you uh, it's gonna be really awesome to have um, and a great tool for people who are interested in building their own go-kart um, and right now I'm working on putting together basically my to-do list and my plan of attack for rebuilding this go-kart my friend Will showed me this really cool website called Trello, which is basically a website that allows you to organize to-do lists for different projects that you have. It's like a workforce kind of management style uh, app and website. So I'm putting together all the different tasks and subtasks that I have for the go-kart, and I'm going to be ordering a um, whole list of parts, probably from Go Power Sports very soon for the version two of the go-kart build, and then I'll slowly be tackling uh, one different area of the rebuild at a time and putting out those videos for you guys to enjoy. So, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe for more because there's a lot of awesome videos to come on the channel and I'm excited to share with you guys. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.